Hi, I'm Dana. Welcome to Rainy Day Guitar. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to play Somewhere Over the Rainbow. This is, version is by Ava Cassidy. It is the most beautiful version I've ever heard. So I'm going to put it on a plate with them once. Actually, you can go to rainydayguitar.com. You can print off the words with the chords above it, and that is super helpful. And I've got some of the the interesting little chords printed off with pictures and everything for you. Okay, so I'm going to put it on a plate with them once and then I will go back and show you how to do it step by step. This is kind of a harder version, but it's really beautiful if you can do it. So I'm going to make a few mistakes, but it's still it's worth it, worth trying. Here we go. Okay, I'm probably going to miss the beginning. Okay. You should get the idea.
no, but almost. Okay. All right. So that is Ava Cassidy's Summer Over the Rainbow. Let me go ahead and show you how to do this. So we are going to start with our capo on the first fret. Slide over so you can see. So we're going to do this little flutter at the beginning. Okay. And I'm calling it a G, kind of a G2, and then a G. So we've got that going on. And we'll go back and forth between the G5. So basically what I'm doing there is I've got my tall man on G and my pointer finger is on the, so that's sixth string third fret, okay? So my pointer finger is on the second string, or third string second fret, and I'm going to pluck. I'm not going to hit one. It would, it would be kind of like that and that's ugly. So we're going to go two and three and six at the same time. Isn't that beautiful? And then you hit four, okay? Put your ring finger on the second string third fret and take off your pointer. Oops, that wasn't it. I'm gonna hit the same ones two, three, with six, and then four. But then I just kind of flutter back and forth between. But I don't hit six every time. So I start up, I start off with six. One and two and three and four. And I probably would only hit six that first time. One and two. minor seventh, which is the pointer finger on the second string first fret, tall man on the fourth string second fret, and I'm going to go. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go two, three, and five now. Five is my bass note. Oh, sorry. Okay. I'm going to flutter with my pinky on the second string third fret. So I'm plucking two, three, and five, and four. drop down to like a D7, but I'm not going to put my ring on the first string. I'm going to kind of leave that open. And I wrapped my thumb around and I grabbed six. So I, I grabbed two, three, and six, then four. Or you can flutter that way. So what I did there was I switched instead of two, three, and six. That's one flutter and you can choose which one you like or you can grab one two and six with your ring finger up I think it depends on the point of the song where you might want to alternate just experiment and have some fun so then you're gonna go um, so that's kind of the intro hold on let me see I was always miss that first pointer down three four five six five six There's another little part that I forgot to teach you. So then you're gonna you're gonna go like this. Okay. So that is pointer on the first string third fret, and then this is second and third strings on the fifth fret, and I'm calling this a high C. And I'm gonna grab four and one together. Four and one, two, three, one, four, and then just kind of let it hold. Okay. So the intro sounds like this. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, hold. Okay, and I kind of pluck that fourth string. Then you're going to start singing, okay? Now you're going to go on to a G. Oh, this one's terrible sometimes. It says G5. I like that. Okay, I'm going to do a G tonight. So I'm going to go bass, three, two, three, one, two, bass, 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 three, two, three, one, two, three, one. So let me see what this says. Do I have that pick? Bass, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. That's one pick, but tonight I'm feeling different. I want to do this. Bass, three, two, three, one, two, and then I'm going to go bass, bass, bass. I'm going to slide from the third fret to the second fret to open. And that gives me an E minor. Bass, three, two, three, one, two, three, one. So that's my main kind of pick I'm thinking right here, but I just didn't have time to finish it because I went like that. Bass, three, two, three, one, two, three, one. Okay, so it goes. Oh, I've never sung this. I've only accompanied somebody. And I'm going to go to a B minor. You can lift up your pinky and do a B minor seven. Okay. Uh, I can't sing. Uh, 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 and I did 
did that same pick bass three two three one two three one G seventh changed her melody up and I have only been playing this and singing this with my good friend Donna from Texas and she's been singing it but I just don't want to forget it because I'm having surgery tomorrow on my shoulder and I don't want to forget this so I'm putting it down for myself over the rainbow oh then she goes no let's see Do there. I went bass three, twins three, twins is one and two together, or you can do anything you want. You just got to get four counts one, two, three, four, and then move your pointer to the second string, first fret, and grab five. Grab five and two. No, five and two, then three. Let's see, that's right. Doesn't sound right. There was I went five and two, three, and then I'm up on the second string, third fret, and fifth string, second fret, and I pluck five and two and three again. So walk, walk. So I'm kind of walking up, and it says walk up there. Okay, then I'm on a C2, which is a C, and I'm gonna put my pinky on the second string. Way. And I don't really care what pick you did, I did the same one. Bass three, two, three. No, not a C sharp, sorry, a C minor 7. Up high. Let me back up. C minor 7th is I'm barring the 3rd fret, tall man on the 2nd string, 4th fret, ring finger on the 4th string, 5th fret, and I'm going to go high. No, hold on a second. Way, I lost my place. Way. Seventh, which is a G seventh, but the pointer finger is up on the second fret. High, and then I'm going to slide down, and I'm going to grab six and one, six and one, two, three, four, or six and one, two, three, one. Then I'm going to do that walk up again. So you need to memorize that walk up. So on my pointers on second string, and I'm going to grab five and two, and then three, five and two, and then three. Okay. So that's way up. Let's see where I'm up. Way, where the heck is way? Ooh, I still don't know. Oh, see. Way up. High. Walking up. Okay, back to a C2. C minor 7th, back on the 3rd fret. go six and one, two, three, one, slide down to the second fret. Everybody, including your pointer, even though it doesn't matter. Six and one, two, three, one, and then to an E minor. One, two, three, one. You can do an E minor seventh, which is lift up your tone. So land, land, land. So you gotta get eight counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Don't really care what you do. A minor seventh. Bass three, twins three. Let's see. Bass three, twins three. So what did I do there? Okay, bass on an A minor seven. Bass three, twins three. One, three, one. I'm putting my pinky or ring finger down on the second fret, the first string, and then my pinky. So it goes on the A minor seven. Bass three, twins three. Third 
third string, still on the second fret, and I'm going to go. And my thumb's going to wrap around to ma. So I'm going to grab four and one, two, three, one, then move back to a D seventh, and you could grab six if you want to. Ma. Then G with your flutter. Flutter twice, it says two times right under, then you go to an A minor seventh. We're doing that same flutter, and then the D seventh that I showed you in the beginning. Here's where it comes in, sorry. Then you're going to go back to your G. Some, you could do your little flutter if you wanted to. Some, or you could go like this. Some, I don't care, or you can flutter. We're going to go bass three, twins three, walk, walk. Over the rainbow. I don't know the melody, sorry. Skies. So that's a C2. Five, three, twins three, four, one, two, three. Okay? And then a C minor seventh up on the third fret. Same chords, kind of over and over. G major seventh. Pointers on the second fret. To a G seven, then go six and one, two, three, one, then walk. Okay, now you're back to a C two and, and C minor seventh, the G. Now we're gonna go six and one, two, three, one, slide to the second, one, two, three, one, six and one, two, three, one, four, four, two, three, one. If you want to do the E minor seventh, so and the dream. Same thing that we did before. Okay, so what did I do? It's a repeat. Dream, dreams, and the dreams that you dare to dream. So I went bass three, twins three, and then I went but probably five and one, and then, what was that, three? Five and one, three, then one, one. Slide down to a D seventh. What all you do is move your tall man down a string, wrap your thumb around, but grab four and one, two, three, one. Slide back, and you can grab six. Six and one, two, three, one. Now you're on the G flutter. True. You're going to do this twice. True. Ah, oh, sorry. True. And then go to your A minor seventh and flutter, and then your D seventh. Back to your flutter. Day, you're gonna do it four times. Day I wish upon a star and wake up with a D seventh. Clouds are funny. G major seventh. Okay, what did I do there? G major seventh. Bass three, twins three, four, twins. Six, six, six to an E minor. Six, three, twins, three, four, three. No, you have to go because you got to grab one sooner. That's so pretty. Okay, so let's see. What do they do? Clips are far behind. So I'm on E minor, bass three, twins three, four, three, no, that's where I left off, bass three, twins three, then I would grab six and one together, and then maybe two or maybe three, three's prettier, and then one, I put my ring finger down, and then my pinky on the third fret, so second fret, third fret, so I went bass three, twins three, six and one, three, one, one, now I'm going to go, Oh, I've lost it. So maybe we should put a certain move. What? Oh, uh, so I feel like I'm going to. Okay, so now 
now I'm going to do my A minor 7th, that's it. So I'm going A minor 7th and I'm going to keep my pinky on 1 and I'm going to go 5 and 1, probably 5, 1, 1 and 2. And then 3, take off your pinky, put it back down, so I kind of went, I went twins plus 5, 5 and twins, 3 twins, 3 twins, 3 twins, and I wish that didn't echo but it doesn't. If I could remember to put those, to slide up on those, let's see if I can do it. If I could slide both of these up and have first and second on the fifth fret, and then hit, so twins, three, and then just lay it down and go. I'm going to go one, two, three, and four, and I'm going to slide up. Okay, so I'm plucking one, two, three, and four, but I'm pinching one, two, and three. And then I went. Okay, I went slide up, two, three, one, then slide down. Do it again, two, three, one. So let me see if I can do that. Let's see, someday I wish upon a star, wicked wish upon a star, happy, hide me. fret, tall man is on the third string, third fret, and ring finger is on the fifth string, fourth fret. That is an F sharp. If you, want, if you don't want the seven, put your pinky in. So I'm just going to go where Charles my life, let it drop so way up. I don't even know what I'm doing there. i got to get eight counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do it twice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you got to kind of go way up. Okay, then a B minor. This is hard. That's okay. So I'm going to go on a B minor and I'm going to go five and one, five and one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Then I have to move out of the middle, I mean, out of the edge and go into the middle because I can't hit one anymore because I just lost my bar. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because I'm holding two, three, and four down. My pointer is going to slide down to the first fret, fifth string. So it's going to go, so it's going to go, that's where you, it's hard to do, you, then take it off and go to an A minor seventh, five, and I'm doing there, all I'm doing is bass two, actually three, bass three, four, two, three, four, three, bass three, four, two, three, four, two, three, on the second time. So I'm going to go D seventh with my ring finger off, my thumb wrapped around on the second fret, okay? So I'm going to go five, six, and one, two, three, one. Then I'm going to put my ring finger down, grab four and one, two, three, one. And I'm going to kind of pause there, okay? And then I'm going to do this little guitar interlude. Oh. There we go. Okay, so you're on. I'm going to do this high D. It's a high G, I like. It's a, it's a D position, that's it. It's a D position, but up on the one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh and eighth frets, okay, between the dots. So you're gonna put these guys between the dots and put your D on. And I'm gonna go. I wish I could do, oh, that's it. So let me show you what I did there. So I'm going to go two and one together, pause, three, so I'm going to call these twins. Twins, pause, three, twins, three, and then I'm going to, yeah, so now I'm on pointer is on the first string, fifth fret, second and third string, seventh fret, and I'm going to go twins, three, and that goes really fast. 
and then you slide down to this. So pointer is on the first string, third fret, tom end is on the third string, fourth fret, and ring finger is on the second string, fifth fret. Okay, but I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do a little pinky thing there, and I'm actually gonna grab six. Okay, so it sounds like this. Ah. Yeah, okay, so here I wanna go one, two, three. I wanna grab six and one, two, three. else there. Okay, so I'm going to go up six and one, two, three, two, and then I'm going to hit one and do a hammer on, and then pull it off and play one again. Then I'm going to go back to my B minor seventh. Yeah, I'd probably go five and one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And then I'm going to do a bar G, which I didn't do when I was demoing this because it's too hard. For